it's the most wonderful time of the year. Yeah. So. December. December. Universal yams. <laughs> from yeah. everywhere. Yes. Literally. We have uh, snacks from all over the place. We are going to, it's going to take a little bit longer than normal, just because we want to tell you where everything's from. Yes. Uh, because it's just more complicated and such, and that's fine. Uh, do you want to be the, the, the scorekeeper? I'm going to let you do that, because all the snacks are in front of me, and I have no available <clears throat> table space. Fair play. But I'll take this, because it's small. Okay. <clears throat> all right, my dear. What are we starting out with? So we go on item by item on the list here. Oh, this is so cool. There's or, so much trivia <clears throat> this time. There well, it, it looks like it matches up. Okay, it does. Okay, cool. So our first thing is... How do you pronounce that? That is... Something marzipan. Politics marzipan brot. From Germany. Germany. Okay. Don't know what it is. But it's something chocolate. Marzipan, if I'm not mistaken, is a kind of cookie. Oh. That makes sense considering it's shaped it and does. overall layout. Go first. I'll, I'll go first. <coughs> oh. Mmm. 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 Brown almonds and sugar. Almonds. Okay, I can see that. Mmm. And <clears throat> raw almonds and sugar. And then a pure dark chocolate coating. Wow. That's delightful. Mm. I have a think? feeling we might get sick from this box because of all of the sweets. Sweetness overload, but we'll see. That is okay. It is. <clears throat> So you can't go wrong with this one. Mm -mm. I'm gonna um, say an eight. Yeah. Just because it was wonderful, and I would eat that a lot. I'm gonna say eight too. But it didn't like blow my mind. Yeah, it's good, but it's not like uh, amazing. <clears throat> All right, so. What's our next thing? Mm, this hat, good. by the way, is itchy and warm, but I'm gonna wear it because it's festive. And I have no idea how to pronounce this. Let's see. And it's going to take me a minute to find it. Primsky. Pier, Piernicky. Do we even have that? <clears throat> what is it? What does it look like? What does the bag look like? Eep. <laughs> yes. Um, it is uh, the these. Yeah. Oh, okay, cool. This is uh, Piernicky. It is upside down. You shot... Shotki. From Poland. Which is gingerbread with gingerbread mint with flavored icing. Yes. Yes. All right. Yes, please. Yes, yes, yes. Let's go. Oh, they're soft. Well, of course. When I think of gingerbread, I think of a gingerbread house that is hard as a rock, but mm, if you tossed no. it, it wouldn't even shatter. Oh. No. Oh my. Mm. These are okay. The texture is amazing. The gingerbread and the mint together, uh, I think, work very well. It's so refreshing. It's refreshing. Um, it's it like melts. a Christmas refresher in your mouth. It melts in your mouth. Mm-hmm. Quite literally. Mm. Um. It's very good. It's a hard nine at least. Mm-hmm. Um. I wouldn't say it was a 10. I'm, I'm holding it out for a 10. Yeah. But, yeah, well, so that's a 9. Yeah, nine. Very good. Mmm. Mm. Okay. Delightful. Next up is... These. Straznik... Bromberki? Bromberki. Mustard potato chips. From the Czech Republic. From the Czech Republic. Republic. This is Are these an, an easy authentic open? Czech holiday feast. Yeah? Every year, if you're about to meal, uh, blah, 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 blah. Uh, the gist of it is they have a potato salad made with mustard. 
Ooh. Okay. I'm okay. sorry. Were you still wanting to read that? No, no, it's fine. Okay. We're good. We don't want to go too deep in because it'll this will be an hour and a half long video if we do. <laughs> like one of our very first ones. Ah. Huh. Um, that was very surprising. So, oh, what does that remind me of? Well, brown mustard on a hot dog. Yeah, I can see that. It's very, it is very mustardy. Well, it's I say very that. like whole grain mustardy. It's faintly mustardy, but it's a little vinegary. But the vinegary doesn't stick around. It's yeah. only like for a split second. Yeah, I do with that. I like these a lot, actually. Um, they're savory, but not like too crazy. These are weird. I like them. I'm going to say six. They're not bad. I would actually say six. I was thinking six as well, um, because I think that they are in truth for what they're like described as. Um, they're actually, I think a little bland. Yeah. Uh, but you taste a burst of mustard and then just like, and then potato just chip. potato chip. Yeah. All right. Prickly pear, yugua candy. From South Korea. From South Korea. That's this one. It's this little cocoa, guy. It's a coconut candy. Right? Yes. It's a coconut candy? It's a, it's Korea's most esteemed and fascinating holiday treat, yugua. Yugua. It dates back to the year 918. Oh my. Smells good. Can I go first? Is yes, that? you may go first, indeed. Hmm. Okay. Um. It's very sticky. Like. It has zero flavor. I disagree. I don't like that one. It's milk. It's like milky. Um, the texture was a little on the stickier side than I'm was uh, uh, than I was willing to assume, per se. Um, but it's good. It's prickly pear flavored rice candy. It's gonna be a one for me. Um, one. I don't like that one. I am going to say five. Uh, I actually liked it. So the five isn't like, because it's a combination of things with texture and flavor and everything. Um, it's it's okay, but I don't think that I would like, that. man, I could really go for another one. I didn't like the texture. It was too sticky. It and had bland. no flavor for me. Yeah. <clears throat> San Andres Crunchy Chocolate Turin. Turan. It's chocolate nougat with crisp rice. It's like a crunch bar with some other such. Uh, is that this? San Andreas, yep. Yes. Okay. This is from Spain. Spain. De España. Uh, which I think is how you said in French, really. But that's okay. Why you gotta be so difficult? I don't know. That uh, Korean thing is still sticking in my teeth. Ooh, that smells. Wunderbar. Delightful. Yonderful. The thing from South Korea was disgusting. I need that taste out of my mouth. Oh. Is it hard? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm good. Mmm. Wow. You know what it tastes like? Yumminess. Starburst. Remember those? Starburst? Not Starburst. Um, Star Crunch. Star Crunch. It's a little Debbie cake snack oh, thing. Oh, that had the fudge on that it? It had the rice, like the rice crisps on it. It was like filled with caramel or something. Didn't it have fudge on it though? Like, I'm thinking like, of something else. Yes, yeah, you're thinking about something else. Hmm. I remember that taste though. Yeah. This is better. It totally tastes like a Star mm. Crunch, which is this amazing. Is... <clears throat> Trip on memory lane. Nine. Nine? Nine. 
Oh, that was very I'm gonna good. I'm going to go with eight myself. It's good. Was it texture? Uh, no, like it was, it was, it was good. I think it was more like it wasn't at. Uh, it tasted just like a star crunch, which mm. was, which is fine. Right. We're uh, okay. We're on the popcorn now. <laughs> this is so, from Taiwan. Pop smile, sweet egg yolk, popcorn. In theory, it should taste like eggnog. I guess is what they're going for. Does it smell weird? No, it smells like popcorn. That's sweet. I don't know. Kind of I don't know. Oh, okay. Sorry. I didn't know you were handing me too. It's okay. Boop. Wow. Huh. This is good. That is so interesting. I would like two more of those. Okay, mm. so number one, it's soft, like it was soaked in something, mm -hmm. um, which normally would be weird in popcorn, Not in but, this. It, but it works in this. <clears throat> um, it starts <laughs> off tasting like popcorn and then becomes sweet and savory at the same time, which is weird, mm -hmm. um, but really good. That. <clears throat> is that our first 10? That's my 10. That's that's a 10 for me so far. I that agree. was delightful. Just get a big old bag of that. Just mm -hmm. snack on it all day. Mm, snack. Snack. All right, we're going to move on. <clears throat> we don't have a lot of time. Piselli Pandoro Chocolate Cream. This is a chocolate cream filled pastry cake. Is it this? Uh, yes, it is that. Oh this my. is big. Very big. Uh, it's like star shaped. Uh, what does its profile look like? Oh. oh. It smells like liqueur. It does smell like liqueur. It smells like Irish cream. A sort of alcoholic. You want to go first? Just ah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I got any chocolate in that. That's okay. You can get some more. I'm gonna get some right now, though. Mmm. 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 Wonderful. We need to eat this before today is out. Because that is not going to last. What do you mean? It's going to get stale quick. Mm hmm. I don't think I have no problem doing that at all. <laughs> <laughs> it's a soft bread, mm. um, a very rich chocolate cream. Ten. Agreed. It's very good. Um, <clears throat> it's. Very, very good. Uh, mm. That will not see tomorrow, I assure you. Um, next up, we have uh, Habri Mixed Baklava from Jordan. <coughs> Which, if you're not familiar with that, uh, is very close to Israel. Okay. Scissors? Where are the scissors? I don't know. You had the scissors. Right there. <laughs> I'm gonna stab you. <clears throat> Rude. Whew. How do you open this? With scissors. You're cruising. You cruising, dearie. Yes, I suppose I am. I love you. Cruising down tasty way. <laughs> After this is the cinnamon chocolate. Okay, so Which right is here. very exciting. I'm super pumped. <clears throat> Loud. I'm just kidding. Listen. <laughs> you can stab me with the scissors. For all of YouTube to see. <clears throat> hey. 
everything as content. Oh, neat! It's like a. Look it's how a fancy that box. Is. So it like, and it's yeah. It's like a box you can get like cigarillos or something. <laughs> oh. Ooh. Let's save the big ones for later. Okay. I'm gonna try one of the little ones now. No. Yes. It's gonna be sticky because it's baklava. Sounds good to me. Could be a mixed box of all. Mm mm. Huh. Does it not taste minty to you? Mm mm. At least mine, I can't. Mine it's, tastes like pistachios. It's uh, mixed though. It's so good. So, baklava, for <clears throat> those of you that don't know, it's very flaky, very gooey honey. Very dense once very, you start very, to bite into very, it. Very dense honey uh, pastry. Um, the ones you can get at like Walmart or whatever are very good. This is better, this than, is better. than what we've ever been able to get there. Um, but it has a tendency, and it's very funny, uh, but like they're, they're so soaked with honey that they kind of stick to everything. Mm -hmm. um, even like your mouth, like it's hard, it's really hard to kind of chew it. That was good. Uh, it was very good, actually. <clears throat> Once a year, there's a Greek festival around our area. And we got some authentic baklava from the Greek Orthodox Church. I might venture to say this was better, and we went crazy over that. Oh yeah. We stood in line for 40 minutes to get a box of assorted so ones. Good. So. Ten. Nine. I'm gonna have to go with a nine because, to be fair, I only tried one piece. Yeah. I, I might change that to 10 later because it does say mixed, so I'm guessing that it's a variety. Yes. So, for right mm. now, it's a 9 on the verge of 10. So, I mean, it's, it's delightful. Guess what's next to you? Your favorite thing in the world, chocolate. Yay! Uh, this is... That's from Mexico. Oh, no, Peru. Clove and cinnamon chocolate flavor bar. Four. It's technically four hot chocolate. <laughs> <clears throat> but we're just Clove? gonna we're just gonna eat it. Yeah, it has cloves and cinnamon in it. I don't know if I'm gonna like this. This might be a little stinky. <clears throat> How are you supposed to? <clears throat> oh, I'm sorry. Yes, yes. Show the people's. Show them. Uh oh! No! 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 Okay. Smell this. Whoa. That's a dark chocolate, too. Me first? Yep, you first. Oh. Okay. It's gritty like sand. How strange. You don't, you don't like it? No, I mean, it's good. I'm just, you know. see where it's supposed to be for hot chocolate given it's it's like just eating a texture <clears throat> if you want to follow if you want to have it traditional break it into pieces and place it in a pot with one cup of water heat on medium and stir until dissolved add four and a half cups of milk stir until hot 
enjoy playing with marshmallows or with whipped cream. Salud. Huh. By the way, that is from Peru. Uh, I understand now why it said that it's for hot chocolate. Yeah. Yeah. But either way. It's good. This is very good. Ten. Ten. And I didn't think I'd like it because of the clove, but it's not I'm overpowering. Gonna, uh, I'm going to go nine. Um, because, like you said, it's very good. Um, again, I haven't had it in it in the way that it is supposed to be. It's enjoyed. intended format. Uh, so it might be better in that way. Mm. But, like... Texture is a big deal for me, mm -hmm. and the texture was really bizarre. Uh, it was, it is, and when you get the little remnants uh, of the chocolate, it's like all the flavors out of it that's still left over in your mouth. It's weird, but the taste of it, yeah, I like the texture. The taste was good. The texture, and it's not really because it's still a nine. Like the texture wasn't bad. It was just weird. Weird. Yeah. Unexpected. Right. And sometimes that can be really good, and other times, not Takes off so the point. <clears throat> yeah. Cool. Next Jum up. Jumbo Raspberry Hamantashen from... USA. Here. Really? From where? Is it from, like, New York it's or something? It's for the Jewish holiday of Purim. Oh. It's nice in March. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Cool. Yeah. <clears throat> Neat. Let us do this. Oh, that smells wonderful. Oh, me first this time? Yes. That reminds me of like, the raspberry pop tart smell. Mm hmm. I didn't get any raspberry in there. Okay. I kind of taste like a softer version of raspberry pop tarts, but better. Oh, whoa. Okay. What? That's really good. The shortbread is soft. I'm going to try another bite with the raspberry. Yeah. You know what's mm. strange to me? Mm. The, the immediate memory that I got was like raspberry or some kind of berry flavored chapstick. <laughs> Um, like when I was a kid, this is a fun story, uh, I wasn't always the brightest kid. I was like, man, this smells really good. Tastes good on the mouth. It must taste good. All the way up. Arr. That was a mistake. <laughs> Not good. How old were you? I don't know. Like, like eight. <laughs> It's okay. When I was like four, I put deodorant all over my body because it was hot outside and I was sweaty and I thought de that's what deodorant was for and I literally <laughs> put it from head to toe. <laughs> that is great. That's I was great like story. four years old, yeah. Anyway. Um, that is so good. I, I can literally picture you doing that and it's hilarious. Yeah. I love how soft that is. Like I did not expect it to be as soft and melty as it is. That reminds me of, do you remember... The little cookies that had a little dollop of raspberry in it. Mm -hmm. That's what it reminds the me of. Shortbread ones, but much softer, mm -hmm. much better quality. Yeah, much better. Yes. Four. Nine. Mm. <coughs> Rude. Uh, same. Sorry. Yeah, it's all good. Whatever. Stockley's mince pie fudge, spiced <laughs> fudge with. Raisins. That's exciting. Mm -hmm. I like raisins. I don't. Yeah, she does. Texture. Which is odd. It smells weird. Bring it on. Minced pie be is careful. a very. Be careful. This uh, might not be very soft. It's a very savory uh, treat. Oh, yes, it is. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. It's 
Is it Clovey too? Mm-hmm. Might just be remnant from the other thing. Oh, this one's from the UK. Yeah. In case that wasn't evident from the name of the brand and the type of fudge it is. <laughs> For those of you who are watching, it's good. It's definitely um, the right texture for fudge. That's a five for me. Yeah. I'm not crazy about it. I like the texture, which is why I got a five. Otherwise, I would have gotten like a three. You know, I think I'm with you on the five. Because <clears throat> like like you said, it's not bad. Mm -mm. Like for me, the texture was just fine. <clears throat> the flavor is decent. Um, it's not but amazing. it's not great. But it's not... We didn't spit it out, for example, like the licorice candies and stuff. <laughs> <clears throat> Go back and watch our other videos. See that stuff. Yeah. Next up. Next is from China. Cha-Cha Chinese Pecan Sunflower Seeds. Candied pecan flavored sunflower seeds. How neat. I, <coughs> I'm thinking that this is going to be a 10 for me just right off the bat because I love... Sunflower seeds and pecans. I love sunflower seeds, I love pecans, and I love candy Oh pecans. my. Look how big those are. Oh, it, it's not even like... Oh, boo. Okay. What? It's not even like shelled already. Hmm. I'm trying to find a big one. Okay. Obviously, you don't eat the shell on the outside. We know that much. Um, hmm. Ooh. That is very good. <clears throat> Look how big these are. They're gigantic. They are freaking huge mangas. Um, the candied flavor. But the seed is still tiny. Yeah. The candied flavor starts on the outside, of course, because it's on the outside. But it also, because I guess of the way they prep it, has seeped into the inside. It's because it's soaked. Which has made for. It tastes like licorice on the inside. It's really are you good. getting that at all? Mm hmm. I'd eat this again. Not my favorite. I'm actually getting like a caramel kind of kick. Which makes sense with, with like the candy pecan kind yeah. of thing. I wish the bag was bigger. <laughs> so I could actually like have a big old handful. We'll save this out. for our vacation. Yes. It's a good. Relief for vacation it's good. in like three it's good days. good road food. <clears throat> All right. Seven. <clears throat> okay. Um. <coughs> I thought it was great. I'm going to say nine. Do it. <clears throat> like, really, really good. Um, next, I'm so excited for these. Les Ooh. Amis du Vin Cheese Palmiers. Palmiers? Palm... Uh, All butter cheese pastries. Gouda and Edam <coughs> cheese cookies. Mm. From the Netherlands. From the Netherlands. Where apparently they speak uh, some derivative, uh, some some dialect, if you will, rather, of French. Or they speak it's called something in the French tongue. <clears throat> oh my gosh. <laughs> Here, my dear. Yes. It looks like shorts. Bottom. That's what it looks like. <laughs> it's a bottom. Someone bending over. Boop. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. <laughs> okay. Imagine, if you will, mm. a non-sugary Danish cookie, like without the sugar coating on it, like one of the other ones. The ones you don't typically like, 
that are like the last ones in the, in the yeah. tin. But with all kinds of cheese, all on kinds it. of cheese on it. Gouda and this is a hard tin. Agreed. Like hard. These are amazing. Mm. Mm. I would like another one of those. These. I broke, but rude. We gotta save some for Saturday when we leave. Which, by the way, we are paying homage to my favorite Christmas movie. Yeah. Matching shirts because we're corny like that. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> mm, those are amazing. Those would be really good with more like melted cheese on it. <laughs> Just all the cheese. Or like a fondue kind of dipping. Morovska Bramberki. From Czech Republic. Garlic. Guess what these are? Garlic potato chips. Potatoes. <laughs> That's a very big bag, too. It is. I'm super pumped. We may not have to go get things. Yeah, right? <clears throat> Which I would be fine mm. with bringing all this stuff with us. Just to chow down. That's an odd smell. Uh, Here, hold out your hand. Okay. These look like the old uh, interesting way that they make potato chips over there. Wow. Um, make sure you have mouthwash or gum <laughs> after you eat this <laughs> because you will scare away people from a Half mile radius. That is really Amazing. good. It even has like a little bit of a bite at the end. There's another 10? 10. It's gotta be. We're not very harsh. On our grading scale. But. That is mm. a really good. Are you trying to read the, the back of the bag? Well, some of it's in English. <clears throat> it's in all kinds of different languages. Oh, neat. Because, you know, mm -hmm. people are buying are multilingual yeah. uh, out that way. Not here. Mm -mm. Not usually. Not anyway. usually. Yeah. It happens. All right, Habri Barra. <coughs> We're on the sesame cookies. I'm very excited. Which are uh, right here. Yes, another fancy box from Jabri. Hab Habri. I don't know how you say that. J A B R I. From Jordan. <clears throat> Please correct my pronunciation in the comments below. Like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. For more. Delicious Universal Yums. And Universal Yums, you know, what up? <laughs> you know we're always game for sponsorship. Oh, dearie. Well, that one's less than 10 seconds, so we should be fine on the old uh, YouTube. Mm. Um. Mm. He's from New Jordan, by the way. Um. Mm. I love sesame anything. Yeah. This is sweeter than most of the other sesame stuff we've had. Because it's generously layered with honey. Fair enough. When um, dunked into black tea, the result is a mouth-watering explosion of sweet, salty, buttery, and nutty all in one bite. Neat. Cool. Okay. 
Ten. However that works. Ten. Or sign language. Huh? Oh. Okay. Ten. Does it matter which hand? Nope. Okay. I'm going to give it a nine. Um, as. I'm not as uh, into sesame as you are. Sesame is mean, good. It's really good. But, I don't know. I don't think it's, it's, I don't personally think it's, it's ten material. But it's close. It's real close. <clears throat> okay. From Spain, our next item. Snack gold... Raspberry flavored potato chips. You already said it was from Spain? Yes. Go okay. ahead. Fancy bag. Very thick plastic that they use. Um, which is great. <coughs> oh my. Gourmet potato crisp. Wow. Wow. Owen Wilson. Wow. I don't want to listen right. <laughs> I sometimes get one of those confused. Oh, that is weird. very well on potato chips. Okay. First thing that is important to note about these is that they are not sweet. And being from the U.S. They smell amazing. Um, they smell amazing. They, they're not, they don't taste bad. But the expectation here, anyway, with anything like berry flavored, especially processed berry flavored, is sweetness. So like jelly donuts, raspberry cream uh, hard candies, whatever the case may be, the general expectation is that it will be a sweet substance. <clears throat> that this is not, is it really bad? Um, I, I didn't hate it, per se. <clears throat> Are we, okay, we got a couple more. Yeah. Um, <coughs> score. Yeah. Six? No. My score has to be about a three. Okay. I really, I didn't like those. Mine is going to be around a seven, actually, because uh, I enjoyed them. Um, I didn't like them. It's very. That's all you, my it's dear. It's definitely odd. It's like a tart. It's like a. What is, oh, excuse it, me. Like it doesn't go together at all. Tartness. <clears throat> it's doing? super artificial, raspberry well, flavor. That's true. That's very true. I just didn't like it. The next thing we have from Germany is <clears throat> Schluckwörter. Marzipan potatoes, which is to say, uh, as far as the way it is described, marzipan candy potatoes. Mm. Now, whether or not this oh, is good. Ow. You okay? Yeah, I just Did hurt you hit myself. the table? Yeah. We're good. I'm just clumsy. <laughs> Stop doing that. This smells like. Whoa. Mmm. Okay. Very rich. Obscenely rich. Yeah. It's the kind of thing that you probably could eat more than one. But you don't want to. You're going to regret it. Probably no more than like three at the most. It's, yeah, it's very absurdly rich. Um, I thought it was going to be hard. 
It's very soft uh, in the best way. It has a very delightful texture. Uh, the flavor is good. What flavor is that? It's marzipan. No, but it's... What flavor is it like? Almond. It is. It's, yes. It's yes. like an almond. You know the almond... Um, almond extract mm -hmm. that I sometimes put in waffles when I make them yearly? Yes. That's what it tastes like. Yes. I it tastes like pure uh -huh. almond extract. That's what it is. And it is real good. Yes. All right. That's so. A nine for me. Oh right, that is a nine for me as well. Yes. Texture, flavor, everything's good. Mm. It didn't blow me away. But, but it's still it was, good. It was great. Almond delights. Okay. Is that these? They're shaped like almond, like almond. Uh, Soft almond wafer candies. I'm Ooh, so this excited. is from Spain. From Spain. We're so excited. And I just can't hide it. I know, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> I know, I know. I want you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, careful. This, do you know, you've, you've cracked like the Christmas nuts before, like your yeah. parents had in a big bowl, right? <clears throat> this is shaped like the nut of the almond. Mm -hmm. Well, it, yeah, it is. It's a wafer thin. Mmm. That's so good. Can we rate this a 15? <laughs> you want to break it up to 11? Mmm. No, let's do it, Tim. Okay. The best. If you're doing this, save this one for last. Um. The, again, this is one of those, like, surprise things. It t starts out... Very bland on the outside. No texture. Yeah. It tastes like styrofoam. It tastes like styrofoam because it's just wafer. It's just, like, regular wafer. But then, mm. the middle is it's filled with cream. this, like, creamy almondiness. Nutty oh. delightfulness. It's so good. Amazing. My hat is... is Which quit? Cruise and Deary. Uh, yes. <clears throat> oh, man. It's a life-changing event right there. Mmm, <laughs> very good. I have Popeyes for the first time. Oh, well, that was two years ago, this week, actually. That's true. How crazy. <clears throat> Our first vacation together. Popeyes. Do we want to do the candy? I think we should. Okay. There's only two, right? Okay. Is that right? Yeah. And yeah, there's only two left. <coughs> okay, the first one is from the UK. Pink champagne candy contains no alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> That's very funny. Nope. Yep. I just pulled should. out another almond thingy. I thought real hard about that. Well, stop doing that. So it is definitely pink. Has no discernible smell. Ooh. This is Scotland. <clears throat> A little sour. There. It's definitely champagne flavor. The aftertaste, you can tell. Oh, yeah. It tastes a bit alcoholic, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. mm. I'm good on that. Okay, hang on. Mm. I just did it on camera because whatever. It's all good. Okay. Um, it has a nice taste. It's a good flavor. But it's it's a little too tart for me. You don't you know I don't like sour stuff. That's true. I'm gonna do that as a five because I can take it or leave it. No. I'm gonna give it a six because uh, you know again it's good, but it's not like 
I mean, it's like pretty amazing. <sighs> this next one, our last one, is Lucky New Year's candy Ooh. from China. It is crunchy sesame candy. That is very exciting, actually. <clears throat> Okay. Oh gosh. Okay. Don't fall out. Okay. It's oh, it's a little flaky. A little crumbly. Oh, that smells amazing. Kind of mess with it. it does. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Mmm. That is really good. Um, agreed. Agreed. Okay. Play with this in a little bit. Remember those candies? I'm trying to think what it is. Yeah. Remember those candies that would come in the plastic that had the black stripes on it? It was like, it wasn't a hard candy, sort of. It was like a, oh, what are those freaking things called? Uh, um, it was like a peanut buttery. Like a brittle, but soft. Yeah. Yeah. So this is like that. And I can't remember what it is either, but I know it's the first thing I thought of. So this candy is not a hard candy. It looks like it is. It's very deceiving because the outside is kind of like that shiny. Mm -hmm. But you literally bite into it and you go through layers and layers and layers of thin wafer amazingness. Now, is that one better than the almond one? Mm, no. No. The almond one is still my pick out of the whole <clears> thing. <throat> Excuse me, that's my pick for the sweet. Uh, the the almond is my top my top for the sweet. Mm -hmm. And my top for the savory is the cheese. Oh my gosh, yes. Crackers, Danish All of cookies. The yes. I, I agree wholeheartedly with both of those mm -hmm. choices. Um, mm. <clears throat> that is such a good aftertaste too. It is. Okay. Ring in the new new year with some new traditions. Yes. Oh, by the way, uh, we are done with all oh. of the snacks. Yes. We're moving on to the trivia stuff. Uh, so if that does not interest you, that's cool. No we'll worries. We'll see you next time. We'll see you next time. In Belarus, 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 watch Roosters. I think it's Belarus. Oh, well, that would make sense to you. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Many people ponder the future of their love lives this time of year, but single women in, what was it called again? Belarus. Mm -hmm, Belarus. Get an answer, even if it does ruffle some feathers. Ha ha ha. Piles of corn are placed in front of each woman, and a rooster is set loose in the middle. Whoever's pile of corn is eaten by the rooster will be the first to marry in the new year. How bizarre. How bizarre. How bizarre. That's very funny. It is funny. In Switzerland, drop ice cream. No, our hearts are breaking for all the delicious ice cream lost to this tradition. While there's no way we're purposely dropping our scoops anytime soon, it's comforting to know that by Swiss standards, a, tra a, 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 a tragic ice cream accident could bring luck, wealth, and peace. In Ecuador, burn scarecrows. Really? As a family activity leading <clears throat> up to New Year's, Ecuadorians construct large stuffed effigies mm -hmm. called viejos. Okay. These eerily realistic figures shaped like rock stars, cartoon characters, political figures, or family members. Creepy. Are enthusiastically set ablaze at midnight, symbolically <clears throat> releasing the old and welcoming prosperity in the new year. That's cool. It's interesting. I'll give him that. Romania, talk to animals. I do that all the time with toots. And with Harriet. 
Mm-hmm. That's true. And Harriet, my D and D, my D and D character. She's a Sasquatch. Don't be surprised to see Romanian farmers talking to their livestock on January 1st. Locals believe animals are granted the power of speech that day and will often listen intently for responses. <laughs> it's a good thing they don't hear much as it's actually considered bad luck to make out words from the animal noises. I'm glad you had words at the, at the end of that make out part. I was like, oh no, that was going to be but okay. It, it wasn't. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> South Africa. Toss furniture. <laughs> Heads up. On New Year's Eve in South Africa, you'll see everything from pots and pans to furniture and appliances flying from people's windows. <clears throat> That's terrifying. Yes. Getting rid of the old clutter symbolizes a fresh start. But unfortunately, it can also cause pedestrian accidents. Maybe don't try this one at home. Yeah, for reals. Uh, yeah. Boy, that sounds really dangerous and dumb. Here's a recipe. Potato... Latkes. Latkes. Four medium potatoes peeled and grated. Two medium white onions finely chopped. Two eggs. Three tablespoons of flour. Three tablespoons of canola oil, which I'm sure you can use any oil of your choosing. A teaspoon of salt. Black pepper to taste. Here is... Said recipe. Oh, wait, there we go. Can you can see that? Oh, okay. Right there. Nice. And you can pause that if you need to. Yeah. Because I'm very short and Here. I... Okay. Yes, you do it. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> is it not focusing? There we go. There, oh, we... there. There you go. Yep. Okay, cool. <sighs> Um, served plain or with traditional toppings like applesauce or sour cream? Applesauce? applesauce? How interesting. <clears throat> what are we doing the last clue? We have trivia, and then we'll do the last clue. We now have... <clears throat> is there a bonus? There's nine. Yes. I don't know if we're going to get the bonus answer, but there's nine total... Yes. Nine total questions, so we'll read each question, and then we will read the set answers. Okay. Okay. Number one, Ukrainians decorate their Christmas trees with shoelaces, tin foil, bunches of grapes, or spider webs. Shh. I'm going to say shoelaces. Oh, that's what I was thinking, too. Spider webs. Really? Don't look at the other answers. I'm not, I'm not Ukrainian the other folklore answer. tells of a poor family that grew a Christmas tree from a pine cone, but then had no money to buy decorations. When they woke up on Christmas morning, they saw that spiders had spun webs around the tree's branches to decorate it. Terrifying. Today, locals decorate their trees with this manner to bring good luck in the coming year. I would be calling a pest control immediately. Yeah. <laughs> Doing the Home Alone face, do you? Yes. Yeah. It's a great movie. Number two. Christmas movies. Uh-huh. On New Year's Eve, Colombians carry <clears throat> blank around the block. Guitars, books, suitcases, or jalapenos. Suitcases seem like the realistic choice. Yeah, but it's probably something silly like jalapenos. <laughs> Which one do you choose, jalapenos? I'm going to say jalapenos. I say suitcases. It is suitcases. When the clock strikes midnight on New Year's, Colombians race out to the streets with their luggage. Why? According to locals, taking your suitcase, even if it's empty, on a midnight stroll around the block assures a travel-filled year. Maybe we should do that. <laughs> Not a problem if you got a Universal Yum subscription as a gift this year. Yeah, buddy. Agreed. Number three. Norway's holiday Kransik Cake, cake contains I don't know. a solid gold coin, a bottle of wine, smoked salmon, or a black pearl. I'm going to say smoked salmon because they like a lot of that stuff over there and it's disgusting. So I'm going to say smoked salmon. I would say smoked salmon too because it's the easiest thing to get. A bottle of wine. Want to make a holiday toast? Yeah, want to make a holiday toast in Norway? First, you must finish the Kransa cake. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. I don't know. 
This tall cone shaped cake is made with 18 or more layers, decorated with ornaments, flags, and firecrackers. Wow. wow. Served on Christmas or New Year's, the towering treat is eaten layer by layer, slowly revealing an entire bottle of wine in the center. <clears throat> so that means that you have to bake wine. A bottle of wine inside the cake. Basically, yeah. Weird. That is weird. On the first day of Ramadan, residents of Istanbul are awoken up at 2.30 a.m. by... Hmm, a 30-minute firework display, the sound of a single trumpet, 2,000 drummers, or a giant bell. I always say the drummers. The giant bell. Is drummers. Huh. No need for an alarm clock during Ramadan. Throughout this holy month, thousands of brightly dressed drummers wander the streets of Istanbul, waking residents for Sahur, the last pre-dawn meal before fasting begins. Participants in this festive affair are often descended from families who have been drumming for centuries. How cool. That is cool. Number five. Those are good. <clears throat> You're not going to have any for a road trip if you don't stop now. I only had four more. <laughs> only good. four more. Only half a pack more. No, I'm just joking here. Eat than, as many as you want I'm, to. I want more than cheese cookies. Germans welcome <clears throat> the New Year by eating donuts filled with <laughs> jelly, liquor, mustard, or onions. I'm going to have to say, ah, mustard. I'm going to say mustard. Oh, uh, Based yeah. on the mustard potato chips. Let's say mustard. All of the above. It's all of them. If you ever find yourself at a German New Year's party, be prepared to eat lots of Berliner. Berliner, Berliner. Berliner. Okay, cool. Traditional donuts filled with fruit, jelly, or egg liquor. That is the joke of uh, George W. Bush went to Germany at the wall uh -huh. and said, Ist bin ein Berliner. Uh, oh. Which, which was very funny because it's not... It, he was trying to say, I am a Berliner, like someone who is... But what he's he a said donut. Was, I'm a donut. <laughs> uh, which, was, oh, which was very funny. Bless his heart. Uh, That's he, funny. He has a lot of funny things like that. He was a silly man. That's uh, funny. Yeah. Be warned some random pastries will be stuffed with mustard or onions as a practical joke to kick off the year. Let's hope that you're the one laughing. You know what, though? I don't think that that would be bad. Unless it's like all mustard, because mustard and onions in pastries sounds pretty good. It does. Frankly, like I, I wouldn't be. It would be savory. I, I would be. Upset but by that. well, not the mustard for me. But onions, I would yeah. probably be totally down for that. Okay, number six in India, menorah candles for. Why is my brain not allowing me to pronounce this? Hanukkah. <laughs> Anuka. Oh, Anuka are made with cinnamon sticks, coconut oil, dried fruit, or hot peppers. India. Menorah candles are made. I'm going to eliminate dried fruit. I think it is dried fruit. I'm going to say either cinnamon sticks or coconut oil. Uh, uh, I'm going to say cinnamon sticks. Okay. Coconut oil. Oh. You won't see people lighting wax menorah candles in India. Instead, locals light wicks sense. dipped in bowls of coconut oil to honor the holy story in which one day's worth of oil burned for eight days. Oh, yeah. I remember that story. Yeah. We're not there yet, I don't think. <clears throat> I don't think we are. Many Jewish locals also replace traditional latkes with barfi, barfi, barfi. A bar B, a sweet confection made from condensed milk and fruit. Cool. Mm. 
On Christmas Day in the Czech Republic, locals use blank to read their fortunes. I don't understand how that happens. Apples, grapes, oranges, or bananas? Oranges. Apples? Okay. I'm say apples. Apples. <gasps> An apple a day keeps the doctor away. Well, sometimes. After Christmas dinner in the Czech Republic, each person cuts an apple in half to reveal their health in the coming year. If the seeds form a star shape, it means good health and well-being. While a four-pointed cross shape is the sign of illness or death. Oh, goodness. That's pretty extreme. Gotta get them good apples. <clears throat> On December 25th, it's a tra tradition for Japanese people to eat... KFC chicken, the spiciest bowl of ramen possible, <laughs> McDonald's cheeseburgers, or pizza with shrimp. Oh, that all sounds really amazing, actually. Uh, pizza with shrimp sounds really good. I, but I think that it's either going to be KFC chicken or McDonald's oh, cheeseburgers. cheeseburgers. Yeah. I'll I, say the cheeseburgers if you want to say KFC chicken. I'm going to say KFC chicken. Okay. KFC chicken. Christmas isn't a big deal in Japan, but fried chicken sure is. On Christmas Day, countless locals partake in the unique custom of eating KFC for dinner. In fact, it's the Colonel's recipe. I'm sorry. In fact, the Colonel's recipe is so popular, customers typically place their orders at least two months in advance Dang. to guarantee their food for Christmas. That's bonkers. That's crazy. That's really crazy. Um, fast food's different over there too. Yeah, did you eat any fast food while you were over that way? Uh, well, was we didn't go that far, but yeah. Um, oh, you you mean like in Japan? Yeah. Like, oh, I'm sorry, I misunderstood. In, in Japan, it's it's just different. It is. They cook, you know. Different stuff. Cook different stuff. It's kind of like where here, if you go, you know, when you go, like the further south you go, the sweeter the tea gets. It's kind of like that. Yeah. Like, it's just, it's just different. It's, it, I'm sure it tastes great. It's just different. Bonus question. Kwanzaa originated in which country? Kenya, India, Zimbabwe, or the USA? I want to say Kenya. No. It's, it's the U.S.? Well, that's very interesting. We don't have the answer. Yeah, you do. It's right there. Oh. <laughs> right in front of my face. Hey. Yep, USA. It's the U.S. In 1966, Dr. Maulana Karinga, a professor of Africana Studies at California State University, created Kwanzaa to bring African Americans closer together. Today, people all around the world observe the week-long event, which honors African heritage and emphasizes the seven principles, quote-unquote, of community. That's cool. That is cool. All right, guys, we are about to wrap it up. But yes. last, clue to the next month's box. The perfect place to bring in the new year. A country with castles and cabbage and lots of good beer. There'll be unusual chocolate and a lucky coin sweet. Say hello 2019 and get ready to eat. It's gotta be. <clears throat> I'm either, thinking Germany. It's gotta be either Germany or somewhere adjacent to Germany. Uh, <laughs> we'll see. We will. We'll see you next next We're month. Calling it Germany. We don't know if it's right. Yes. We'll see. All right, guys, you all have a very, very Merry Christmas. As always, and like, Happy New Year. comment, and subscribe. Yes, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, Bobo Tuna, all that fun stuff. We'll see you next time. Uh, we'll see you next time.